Don. Sam and Lee here. We are the Soul Brothers. Uh, we're going to do another top video. We haven't done one of these in, in a little bit. We like to do these quite often because there's always so many shoes coming out. And it's, it, you know, I like videos like this. Just break down for me. You guys are, sh you're sneaker fools. You test out all the shoes. Just break it down for me real quick. What are the best shoes for a big man? And we're about to let you know right now. Um, so, uh, best uh, performance basketball shoes for a big man. How many we got? Uh, we have uh, five. We're gonna order these? Yes. All right, we're gonna do this in order too. So let's start with number five. Number five is the Nike Audacity. Yes. All right, so it's a cheap, cheaper uh, budget model. Um, and I liked it personally, it, it was good, but it felt like it was more for a big guy, you know, obviously. Yeah. Uh, Anthony Davis wears it and some other big guys wear it. And traction is really good, uh, the cushion is pretty responsive, um, but that, that, what's it called? Max uh, Air, yeah. Air Max. Yeah, Air Max and the heel feels really nice. And then the, uh, the materials are super soft and um, it's, it's basically a mesh, but it, it you know, feels pretty supportive. It doesn't stretch at all or anything like that. And ankle, ankle support is really good. Uh, I don't know why, but big, big guys like to have ankle support, I guess. Yeah, well, um, you're in the post a lot and yeah. there's a lot of feet down there. You're stepping on people's feet. Yeah, so uh, so there's that as, I think it's like 100, 110 bucks. So um, that's a really good option if you're uh, looking to save money and you're a bigger dude. Yeah. All right, moving on to number four. It is an old shoe, but of course it's an old shoe. I mean, time doesn't really matter if it's a good performer. Yeah. And it is the Adidas D Rose 7. Yeah. Now, you know, this is on the list because it's one of the best uh, big man shoes, you know, you could get, you know, still. But, uh, you know, it's, it's a lot. You know, it's very, very supportive, very uh, good ankle support. Um, it does feel a little bulky, uh, but it's super supportive. The traction is nuts. Um, there's really no category that wouldn't be good for a big man. Yes. So that's uh, that's going to be number four. That's but it is kind of old, so we kind of pushed it down a little bit. Yes. So now let's move on to number three, and that is the LeBron 14. Um, you explain. Well, you know, you already know what LeBron James is doing to shoes, you know? He's a, he's a small guy, dude. He's a little baby, he's a baby boy, you know? <laughs> you know? Barely made it in the league, he's, he's, he's so a, short. Yeah, he's only six, uh, six what, six, eight? I don't know, I don't know, he's, he's That fool like seven, four. He, that fool plays, you <laughs> know what I like mean? he's like 220, 225 pounds, yeah. you know? He's a monster. So this shoe is just, you know, it just screams big man. It's super supportive, um, you know, traction is pretty good you get a decent ride out of the zoom there's some good zoom bags in there that you can feel um, and you know ankle support is decent but just the main strong point of the issue is support lateral containment um, and it's it, it just uh, it's a good outdoor shoe it is a little expensive for an outdoor shoe but um, it, it's just a tank and LeBron's are always tanks and they're always good for big men and the cushion is actually good too yeah all right, moving on to number two is the regular version of the Hyperdunk 2016. Mm. Um, it has a screen mesh, which is really, really strong and durable and very supportive. It goes high up on, uh, up on the ankle, so ankle, ankle protection is really good. And of course, the midsole kind of comes up and uh, also acts as a um, uh, kind of like a counter, mm -hmm. not a heel counter. What do you call it when it's in the middle? Uh, uh, middle counter? <laughs> Um, yeah. Mid foot counter. Mid foot uh, counter. Okay, um, but that's good. And then the cushion, of course, you have a four foot zoom unit and a heel heel zoom unit. I was gonna say heel foot zoom. Unit. Heel foot unit. <laughs> but um, yeah, you can you can actually feel it. It feels really nice. It's actually pretty bouncy. And Which is a big man. Like yes. for me, like cushion is important for a big dude. About the cost. You're super heavy, putting a ton of of pressure on your knees and stuff like get get some cushion man yeah, and you're dunking yeah a lot and you're landing really hard when you yeah. do that so of course cushions and traction is good too so that's a really really good option and right now it's cheap yeah you know uh since the 2017 is about to come out and i don't think the 2017 is going to be very good for big dudes it's not going to have the same support yeah mark like, my words yeah the, the material is different yeah but anyways now moving on to number one it's the lebron soldier 11 so LeBron is um, come back. Last year it was not that good. He no. had the 13 and the 10, the Soldier 10, which was just, dude. But uh, he came back this year, and Soldier 11, uh, it's actually a really nice shoe. Traction's really good. 
the uh, cushion, the uh, impact protection is good. Uh, you can, I can feel the forefoot zoom unit mm -hmm. just a little bit, even though it's uh, bottom loaded, and it's a very supportive shoe. You know, it's a very supportive upper. It doesn't stretch at all, and then the strap system is amazing because you can just you know you don't have to like tie it. When you tie laces, you have to go like this, like one by one. But strap, you just go boom, 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 and yeah. you're good, you know? So uh, it's a very, very uh, good shoe for big men. Very good shoe. And you know, another strong point about the shoe is you're getting a ton of support, but it doesn't feel stupid bulky and heavy, which is great. You know, as a big dude, you don't need a bulky shoe. You know, you just need a ton of support. So you get that in this shoe, and, and that's why it's number one. And it's also not crazy expensive. Um, Which was it like 140? 150? Yeah, 140 something. It, but but it's worth the money. Um, it, it's it's going to be a super durable shoe for you if you're a big dude. And um, you know it's still pretty responsive too. You're not getting a ton of sloppy cushion. It's just a little bit of zoom in there, just enough to feel and give you some impact protection. Um, so that's number one, LeBron Soldier Eleven Soul Brothers. Hope we helped you guys out. We'll catch you in the next one later. Peace.